No, for a number of reasons, one of which is luxury is dominated by Europe. 70% of the luxury industry is Europe. So it's never a U US versus China. It's, luxury is European, and that's our history and heritage. There has been a moving back of luxury from Europe into China. So that growth that we saw has actually decelerated and in some instances gone slightly negative. So Burberry have positioned themselves well because they have a disproportionately large Chinese business and they've done very well out of it. What about your strategy, good morning to you by the way sir, um, uh, in those countries where we're trying to get the tourists from as well? Because I notice if you're a, a, a luxury good in China or Singapore or in Abu Dhabi, you will have a franchise there. If you're a British public school, you will have a franchise very often in those parts of the world now, pushing out the franchise. And in fact, I know, I can't say it because I know very well, a headmaster was away from school for the last two weeks at a school I know locally because he was trying to build a franchise, dare I say, in the Far East. What about Harrods' strategy towards the Far East in those countries? Well? Are you looking at building an operation in China, in the Middle East, in other areas? No, we've been for the past 10 to 15 years spent spreading the word of Harrods mm. in the Middle East and China. And today the Chinese are our biggest customer. We've always been hugely strong in the Middle East, but mm. we go out there. So I've already got three trips in the next two to three months planned to go out to Southeast Asia to spread the message but of But not Paris. to build a, a, um, a, a key site in one of the big malls in Dubai, for instance. Gosh, no, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, there's only one Harrods. <laughs> there is only one Harrods. But isn't that going to limit the growth? I mean, obviously, Burberry has, with skill and other times, failed to negotiate the luxury barrier. And obviously, there was a famous episode I don't know, about 20 years ago where they went down the price scale as well. It didn't work. They had every, every Tom Cobbley buying Burberry Sorry. goods. And then they went back up the luxury end again as well. So you'll very much stay lower growth, but keep the margins no, higher. We didn't say lower growth. We said we were going to keep luxury. The reason that we did our partnership with Farfetched was to make sure that we spread the ability to get that Harrods experience and that Harrods product mm. across the world. But we wanted to deal with a technology company who understood that and had the power and resources to drive forward that message. But I think the one thing that we really miss in the UK is our soft power is just so, so important. You know, the, the value of English um, plays, of English literature across the world, if, if I ask people in America, the crown has been more important than anything the UK government has ever done. Mm. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.